Hey guys, Dan Nikas here. In this video, what I want to take you through is, you know, it's really relevant around this Black Friday, Cyber Monday week that we're moving into now is how to actually create a segment of people that haven't opened your actual emails that you're sending out. Because whilst we want us to email, you know, large volumes around this time, and the reason that we do is because there's a lot of brands emailing at the same time to us. So we need to be able to email and stay on top of their inbox. So what I mean by that is, is that I like to email at during this week now, which we'll call Cyber Week, in the AM and the PM. Now, the reason is, is that if I only email in the AM, let's say, and then my subscriber or user or past customer doesn't get to their email in the morning, what was potentially going to happen, and more than likely, and you've probably seen this in your own inbox, is that during the day their email inbox is going to get flooded with other offers from competitors and other brands and they're going to get distracted and our am email is going to be pushed possibly off the first page of whatever email um, software they're using to read their emails so we want to then hit them again in the pm but we don't want to be hitting the people that have already opened and clicked and potentially purchased off us at the same time like there's no need to send them an am and pm when they've already taken the action you wanted on the first email so what i want to take you through is how to actually create a segment of people who received but didn't open that email. And what we'll do is in the PM is we will send to those people again. And that's not um, going to be annoying those customers that got sent it earlier in the morning. So I'll just take you over and I'll share a screen with you. So this is a campaign that we sent we only sent this like two hours ago so you know the results aren't massive yet but this was the first one that we sent out this is just to our um this is our vip offer so what you want to do is you just want to copy the name of the actual campaign that you sent and then go over to your lists and segments and we're going to go to create a list or segment we're going to create a segment now what we're going to have here is we'll call this um, the campaign name received but didn't open. So what we'll say here is property, uh, what someone has or has not done. They received an email at least once over all time where the campaign name was equal to that and they opened the email zero times over all time where the campaign name equaled that. So what we've got is that they've, they've received the email campaign name that, which we know we only sent out this morning by our naming conventions, and they have, they've opened it zero times overall time. We just leave it as overall time because it takes out the confusion and the campaign name equals that. So we'll create that segment. And what this segment is, is the segment that we're going to send in the PM to. And you can do this for multiple campaigns. You can do this over the course of the week so that you can constantly, every time you send a campaign, add in that to one of your rule sets. And then that way, you know, you're not going to be hitting people multiple times who've actually taken some action. So we'll just pause that video while um, it's going through. Should almost be done. There we go. So we've got that many people that we're going to resend to this afternoon that didn't open the email. So then when we go into our campaign, this here, we go back into edit the definition, you'll see the full name. This is the name of the segment that we're going to be sending to. So it should be really clear. Um, yeah, it's really important. Whilst we want to maximise our sales during this time and we want to be sending out numerous emails to stay top of mind for people top of inbox, we don't want to be annoying those users that have already taken the action we're asking them to do it. And that's basically it for this video, guys. And 
So if you like the content today, just make sure that you hit the subscribe button down below. Um, I'd like to just get some likes, some comments, some shares. Share it with anyone who you think this might help. Comments are great. It lets me know whether the content's on point for you, whether you're looking for, you know, something different or if I'm not clear enough when I'm explaining these to you. Just make sure you subscribe, though, because we've got lots of new um, content coming out all the time. Always free for you. I've also got my free automated workshop. I'll put a link below in the description. It's also on the, the banner for the actual um, account for my free automated email profits workshop that I run live every week as well, where I'll take you through the exact flows and strategies that I use to run Gearbunch, my multi-million dollar brand. Um, and I'll, I'll talk to you all later.